Over the past week, I completely overhauled all of Red Dead Redemption 2, and I turned it into the best zombie survival game possible. Because zombie games are just awesome. I mean, they really, they just are. <laughs> and not only did I create this new world, but I also survived 100 days. But every story has a beginning, and mine starts all the way on day one. I started to look around my surrounded area, and in this case, I was close to Valentine. What was once civilized is now a complete ghost town. I made my way into the basement in one of the stores, and I actually found a revolver. Okay, this revolver is going to be huge, because any weapons I find, I'm gonna have to keep- Guys, what was that? What was that? Did you hear that? my god. The first infected interaction definitely set the expectation for what could possibly be happening over the next 100 days. The rest of the town was completely bare empty. I realized that if I was going to survive the next 100 days, I needed to build myself a base that would protect me from any potential wards or infected. And yes, that was some top tier editing that you just saw right and there. And just as I entered another town to collect materials, I ended up hearing something in one of the shops. What was that? In there. Okay, I know for a fact I heard something. It's probably a stupid decision, but we have to see. If you're in here, I got a gun. Get out while you can. I heard it from down here. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna have to go down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, buddy. I don't know about you, but I just got chills. Even though it was only day two, this interaction of something living and not potentially trying to kill me honestly meant the world to me. You know what, buddy? You, you're coming home with me. And just when I said that, I realized I don't have a home. At that moment, it was simple. My goal was no longer to survive just 100 days. It was also to survive and provide a home for Murphy. That's your name, Murphy. Murphy and I went on to find a small little abandoned barn where we would spend the rest of the night. Okay, it's not much, but it's home for the night. So let's get some sleep. After I found Murphy, on days 3 through 5, I worked on setting up a temporary base for Murphy and I. And I will call this base, the Murphy and Jano Base of Safety. What do you think about the name, Murphy? Bark Bark. For those that don't speak dog, that means he loves it. And on day 5, it was complete. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the Murphy and Jano Base of Safety. <laughs> Bark. Uh, this time Murphy says you should subscribe because the base is so cool. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. The next day I had an amazing fish kill. Got it! Oh my god, I got it! I got it, Murphy! And things were going great until we got back to camp. Murphy, I'm gonna cook up some of this fish. Do you want any? Wait, what was that out there? Oh. Okay, what was that noise? What was that? What was that? Who's there? Who's there? Oh my god, back up, Murphy! Back up, Murphy! Oh my god. Oh my god. At that moment, I truly realized how endangered we still were out in the wild. I can't always be there to protect Murphy, so I needed to figure out a way to get out of the country. And the thought of escaping the country with Murphy was something I pondered for days and days. But on day 11, I had a realization. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? What is that? What is that? Hey, look, it's a little boat. Wait a second. I could probably use this to travel. Finally, I had an idea. The only other place in the entire country that has a lot of boats is in St. Denis. The goal is to head there, grab one, and then head all the way to Guarma, where hopefully the infection hasn't spread there. This meant we needed to start traveling south as soon as possible. Well, didn't think I was gonna have to say goodbye to you so early, but all right. Let's go, Murphy. Off we go. On days 12 through 20, all we did was walk. But at the end of day 20, we were so burnt out by walking, we had to sit down and lay for the night. All right, buddy. I think we should probably set up a campfire here for tonight. Should probably get some rest. What was that? Did you hear that, Murphy? Who's there? Show yourself. What the heck is that in the distance? What is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on, Murphy, let's go! I'm gonna throw these fire bottles that I got. Come on, Murphy! Come on, buddy! Come on, buddy!
boy. Come here, buddy. Good boy. Good. Murphy and I ended up running into a horde, and hordes only happen if you're close to a city. And in this case, we were close to Blackwater, a civilization at one point, but now is completely infected. So we just had to find a spot to camp for the rest of the night. All right, buddy, we got a long day ahead of us. Let's get going. But right away on day 21, Murphy and I found out that we probably were not the only living people left in this entire country. There's no way an infected did this. We're not alone in this world, my friend. We continued traveling throughout the days, and on day 30, we found a cabin that we wanted to stay in for a couple of days in hopes to heal up. Okay, Murphy, I'm gonna check the inside of this cabin. If you're in here, come out. All clear. Murphy, come in, buddy. All right, bud, let's go to sleep. Ooh. All right, Murphy. Let's get going, buddy. We got a long day. Ooh, a rifle. I'll take the rifle. All right, let's go get that dog. Murphy. Where are you, boy? Murphy? Whether I wanted to admit this or not, I don't know where Murphy was, and I had to face the reality that I lost him. I searched for hours and hours, but when I came back to the cabin, I actually ended up seeing smoke in the distance, and I ended up following the trail. Okay, maybe these guys will have... Maybe they'll have Murphy up here. I have no idea. Wait, what the... It's a whole camp. I gotta get closer. There's no way they have Murphy in the cage. Just really gonna get a look. <gasps> they do! There he is. There he is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, they saw me. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I'll come back for you, Murphy! Oh my god, train tracks, train tracks, train tracks. I can jump from here, I think. Take that! Uh, I'm just gonna jump now! No! I must have been out for a couple of days after the fall. I went over back to the camp in which I saw Murphy trapped in, and of course he was gone. But I saw a poster, and at that moment I knew that this was their trademark, and this is the people that they were. So my hunt begun. I knew I needed a better way of transportation, so I ended up finding an abandoned farm in hopes that I could hopefully find a horse. Oh my god. Thank god. Hi, buddy. I probably didn't sleep for at least 10 days. I even tried to question a survivor on where these thugs might be, and honestly, I had no patience. Hey, sir! Do you know where the bandits went? Please don't hurt me. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, I am walking away now. Don't you turn around on me anymore, I found that I was starting to lose myself. Put that down. I have descended into anarchy. And finally, oh boy, on day oh boy, 50, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I found a clue. It must be close. And sure enough, on day 52, I ended up finding them. Oh, I see a fire. Okay, I can't tell if it's them or not. Okay, I think it is them. I have to get a little closer. See if Murphy's in the cage. Let's see. <gasps> there he is! You see him? There's Murphy. He's still trapped in there. Oh my God. They saw me, they saw me, they saw me, they saw me. They saw me. Get out of here! 
to run away because they almost got me. But there was another one. Yes! Alright, just one more. Last one, where you at? Where are you? Come on. Oh, that's a big mistake by you, buddy. Murphy! No, he's not in here anymore. Murphy! Murphy! <gasps> Murphy! From that moment, I promised to never lay my eyes off of my best friend again. We knew we couldn't stay near the camp that we just killed all the bandits in, so we had to travel far away. We ended up actually finding a beautiful island, and honestly, this was finally a nice change in pace. Over the next 20 days, we actually lived there. Summertime and winter too Autumn came and the spring breeze blew right through Oh, but not me and you uh -uh. Yeah, in these days However, on day 69, reality kicked back in After I killed that infected, I knew this entire time I was kidding myself. So I had to stop pretending and we needed to continue our travel. Alright, let's get to swimming, bud. On Go day on. 80, we traveled far enough to where we found this a nice little feet. house. Is anybody in here? I got a gun! All clear. Ooh, and I got a gun finally again after I lost it in the lake. Murph, it's all good, buddy. But I don't think anything else. <gasps> Holy crap! Who are you? Who are you? Relax, my friend. That does not explain who you are. My name is Milkweed Jr. I am not here to hurt you. I am also not with the Nightwalkers. Who the hell are the Nightwalkers? They are the thugs that control the South. Okay, but why are you telling me this? What do you, what do you want from me? I want nothing, but I can help you get out of this country. Why would you help us? I think it would make my father proud. Murphy and I had no choice but to trust a complete stranger, so he ended up taking us over to a shed with his friend, Gerald. Okay, this better be- Oh. My. God. Liquid Junior, why didn't you tell me about all this weapons? That's right, but this will wait. Tomorrow we will start scouting out the Night Walkers. Over the first 10 days we were with him, we ended up looking at every single thing that the Night Walkers had done, and we studied the patterns on every little location that they would be at. We even got close enough to see exactly where the boats would be at the dock. And on day 90, we had all the information we needed, but now we needed to train. First test, shoot the bottles. Okay, wow. You might need some practice. No, no, we, I, I got this. Okay. <laughs> For the rest of my training, I worked as hard as I possibly could, and all I could hear was Milkweed Jr.'s quotes in my head. You must push yourself. No pain, no gain. My grandma is faster than you. If you're still watching, you might as well subscribe. I'm ready. The next day, Murphy and I collected our stuff, we headed over to the shelter and got as much weapons as we possibly could. Oh yeah, I'm taking the double barrel, baby. And we said goodbye to Milkweed Jr. Milkweed Jr., I don't know why you helped us, but thank you so much, my man. It's been an honor, good luck, my friend. This is the final plan. There are two areas we need to go through, the first base and the second. The first base, we must attack stealthy and then burn it. We would then work our way up the train tracks, shoot our way through all of the guards, get to the boat and sail away to Guam. Should work, right? All right, Murphy, here we are. Stay close to me, buddy.
one last one here. Hit him. Hit him. Yes! Let's go. Let's go. We're getting the hell out of here! Hey, bozos! Let's go, Murphy. Hey, do we know you? You don't know me. I know you. This way! Good boy! Oh no. Okay, Murphy, we gotta get to the boat. A lot more are coming. A lot more are coming. Here it is! Murphy! No! Oh. Okay. I got one more thing to get down on my buddy. We gotta get him. Murphy, come on, buddy! Let's go, buddy. Oh no, the boat's starting to sink! The boat's starting to sink! No! Murphy, swim to shore with me! Swim to shore with me! Come on, buddy! Push it, buddy, push it! Come on! We gotta get to shore! Oh no, I'm losing stamina. No, 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 I'm losing stamina, I'm losing stamina! Murphy, get to shore, buddy! With or without me! No! 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 